What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we have some news about the iOS 17.3.1, a version that I made very clear it's actually a good version to be on for jailbreak purposes a couple of videos ago. It's finally been unsigned. We're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to repair your iOS device if it's stuck in recovery mode, black screen, or I don't know, iPhone reboot loop, and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. There's a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS and you can get it here on Tenorshare.com. So Apple officially stopped signing iOS 17.3.1, which means downgrades from iOS 17.4 and 17.4.1 are now impossible. I do have an article in here explaining why that is an important thing, and of course it has to do with what has been patched in 17.4. If you go ahead here in the security content of iOS 17.4, you can see there are a lot of vulnerabilities over here, including an Apple mobile file integrity vulnerability, so code signing, but then also a couple of kernel vulnerabilities over here, one of which says that it seems to be a bypass for kernel memory protections, which could be either a PPL or SPTM bypass. I do have in here an explanation on the website on what PPL and SPTM are. It suffices to say that for a jailbreak nowadays, like dopamine and stuff like that, you would need to bypass both of them if you want to support all devices A12 through A15 and stuff like that. So why is it important to stay on 17.3.1? Well because these vulnerabilities over here including the SPTM or PPL bypass, we don't know exactly what it is at the moment, has been patched in 17.4. Well Apple did a very interesting thing. They released 17.4, they stopped signing iOS 17.3.1, then they released 17.4.1 and re-signed iOS 17.3.1 for a while. And then of course they released another 17.4.1, you can see there are two different builds over here, and then finally they completely unsigned 17.4 but kept 17.3.1 signed until a couple of hours ago. So I have no idea what happened in there, but 17.3.1 did get unsigned and then did get re-signed for a while, which is pretty weird. Anyway, that gave a lot of you the option to downgrade while you still could. So that's essentially it. That's why you needed to go to 17.3.1. It does have vulnerabilities that could possibly be useful for jailbreak purposes. Now, if you want to see exactly the latest versions of jailbreaks available for your device, you go here to jailbreak tools on our website and you you should have all the iOS versions over here, iOS 17.0 up to 17.4.1, and all the jailbreaks and tools that are available for each iOS version. Definitely check that out. But yes, you can no longer downgrade the 17.3.1. I do have a lot of questions on Twitter asking me whether you could use Delay OTA. Unfortunately, Delay OTA only works for upgrades, not for downgrades. So if you have an older version, you can use Delay OTA to go to 17.3.1, but if you are on 17.4, it does not go in reverse. So yeah, unfortunately no method at the moment. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. Definitely don't forget to also check out our new Discord server. Invite link will be below where we discuss iOS jailbreaking and themes and tweaks and stuff like that. We have a good time. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Peace out.